afternoon everybody, welcome to another exciting Honda Civic build uh, race car diaries. Ooh. What have I just spotted? A very sick R32 GTS, ready for some duggets. Oh, that is sexy man. Core cool. R32, do love a 32 I must admit. Give it a little red boost. Fucking job, man. Anyway, I will stop messing about with Skylines. Today, we've got the trusty Honda Civic. We've got Mr. Shane over there, just keeping dry for a sec while the rain calms down. Today, we are gonna be changing the oil on the Honda. We're gonna be doing the oil and the oil filter. If you guys look down here, we've actually got some front brakes from a DC2, which Shane very kindly brought down for me. We've got some uh, rear discs from an EK4, so we're gonna do a rear disc conversion. Shane's also brought me some new wheels. I've got some really, really nice Buddy Club P1s, and I've got some new tires in order as well. The tires aren't gonna be here till Monday. I bought some 808 uh, Yokohama, some nice Semi slick, so should give us a bit of grip. We got my main man, Mr. Shane. Woo -woo! Shane's currently Shane's currently keeping dry at the moment because the weather is not being friendly. It did say it wasn't going to rain today, but in typical British fashion, it has rained. We're just going to let the weather die down for five minutes, and then we shall crack on. If we look down there, we can see Shane's sick, sick DC2. John really enjoyed that car. Don't think the old Bill did, but. <laughs> I'm really pleased to say massive thanks to you guys. We managed to get Shane well over 7,000 Instagram followers. So I think the next port of call is 8,000. So yeah, check out Shane's Instagram down here. Do him a follow, guys. Don't worry, these body kits aren't for the Honda. This is actually my GP Sports kit from my S15 uh, drift car. I'm actually going to be taking these off next week to my painter to get them all repaired. As you can see, they've had a little bit of little bit of John action. First thing we're doing is removing the front brakes so we can swap the uh, DC2 calipers and bigger discs on. They are a little bit seized because they've been sitting around for quite a while, but with a bit of gentle persuasion with a hammer, we will succeed. That is the caliper, the carrier, and the pads removed. There goes the old crusty, crusty discs. We're just comparing up the old disc with the new disc. You can see there's a quite a sort of big size difference. That's the carrier all uh, bolted up correctly. Next up is putting the calipers on. Obviously they're red as well, which gives you five horsepower per caliper. So we're gonna come out at least 180 brake after this. So happy fucking days. Before we chuck these calipers on, we're just gonna use a little bit of copper grease just to make sure everything's lubricated and all the parts move freely. We just need to connect the brake pipe back up and we have one side Complete. We're now just going to use this very high-tech uh, bottle and bleed said brakes. I am designated foot pumper. Oh, while Shaney's doing that, check out my latest edition. I've got this really uh, sexual dildo from Mugen. Pumping. Today I'm wearing my latest Drift Life jumper. Very nom nom. I shouldn't probably be promoting a Drift Life jumper on my Honda Honda series. Um, but yeah, if you want to get some sexy apparel in your life, check out my website down here. Very, very lovely. Then you're just going to chuck the wheel back on, then we're going to drop the oil out and change the oil and filter. Right, we're now just removing the sump plug from the sump, which is going to drain the oil into this wonderful bucket. There she goes. Mm, should, we get night, should we get night vision? Look at that. Oh, that's sick. Check out my night vision. What we'll probably do is next time Shane's down and I've had a chance to change the wheels and sort the rest of the little bits out, um, we're actually going to do a little cheeky race. So we'll do DC2 versus B18 EK3. Um, let us know in the comments section, who do you think will win, me or my fine squire Shaney? <laughs> Shane's actually got about 40 horsepower more than me, but I'm a little bit lighter. Um, but I don't know if the extra lightness in this is gonna warrant the extra horsepower he's got, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Should be pretty sick. Oil has now been drained. We're just gonna now remove the um, oil filter. I'm now just gonna quickly pop down to uh, see Andy at Project Drift and grab an oil filter off him. I think he's got some nice power enterprise ones in stock, so we'll go and check it out. So Broski. Mmm, power enterprise, very nom nom. Very grindy. You like grinder. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure. Absolute legend. Please don't come back. 
I won't. <laughs> and the absolute legend just gave me this sexual. I wouldn't give it to me. I got a bite off him, but yeah, he's hopefully doing me a bit of a deal now. I've plugged him on the on the channel. Make sure you give Andy a cheeky little follow down here. Hopefully, give me a free oil filter if he watches this. Let's go and crack on and chuck this bad boy on the car. Oh, legend, legend misses, man. Very Carney just got him bought of supplies. They didn't have any milky bars though. Oh no, milk. Not another. Not another milky bar conundrum. I know. What do you get? Your choice. Oh, I'll take the smarties, that's yeah. right, yeah. Sure. Very sexual. Mmm, <laughs> nom nom. <laughs> We've now put the oil filter on. You've guessed it, next up is putting some oil in. Today's lovely oil choice is from Miller's Oils, 10W50, very kindly supplied by my sponsors at OP Oils. If you guys want to get some lovely lubricants in your life, check out OP Oils down here. There's a 10% Monkey London discount code so you can save yourself some money. Right, there she goes. Lovely bit of oil. I think I'm right in saying these take about four litres of oil. Yeah. And we've got five litres, so we'll have a little bit left over for when we, when we burn it off. We've just chucked in about just under four litres. We're now just going to measure it up with the old dipstick. Um, pretty there. Good job, man. Well, the Civic is definitely a lot happier at the moment. Fresh oil, new front brake setup, which is pretty cool. We're now just jacking the back of the Civic up. We're going to start the rear disc conversion. Shane's just been spraying a little bit of WD-40 on the camber bolts because they are pretty seized by the looks of it, but we will try our best to get them off. That one's undone. Those two are undone. Bottom one's undone. So we should be hopefully gravy. Hopefully. This car's pretty old. It's been sitting around for quite a while now. So a lot of sort of bolts and parts like this have got super, super rusty, but you can get them off. It's just a bit of a see you next Tuesday. Turn that again, Shaney the guys can see. So yeah, if you look there, although Shane's actually turning it, it's physically not turning the nut, it's actually turning the bolt inside the rubber, um, which is not helpful. We don't actually have the provisions to get that captive nut off because it's actually spinning in the bush. So we're going to take the car around to Andy's at Project Drift. <laughs> Wait. Lozzy Bear. Oh, hello, viewers. <laughs> what we've actually decided to do is because we haven't got a lot of room down here, we need to so ideally use a bit of heat to free the uh, the captive knot off. We're going to wait until we've got ramp access in the next few days and do that side. Um, so, yeah, for now, we're going to concentrate on this side. Right, just jack the bad boy up. Shaney's just cracking on with the rear of the car. While he's doing that, I'm going to take the centre console apart so we can get access to all the um, all the cables. This side's proving to be much easier. Um, Shane's managed to free up all the bolts with ease. The other thing we need to do is get some EK4 uh, rear brake lines because the EK3 ones are a little bit too short because obviously we're going from drums to this. Yeah. There you go. Got it. Right, sweet as a nut. And that's the rear trailing arm out the way. So we've just swapped the tow arms over. When I've got a bit of time next week, I'll probably buy some adjustable uprated ones because these ones are pretty battered. But for now, they're going to do the job. That's the trailing arm back into position. We've just got to do up all the, all the remaining bolts. We've done all the bolts up, we just need to do the lower arm one up now and then we're pretty much good to go on this side. Right, that is this side all done. We're just going to chuck the, chuck the wheel back on. We have pretty much done all that we can do today. The night is drawn, well the night has already drawn in. Massive thanks to me old Marcus Shaney. Massive, massive legend. We're going to be catching up with Shane in a few days. I've got a few bits to order, like the brake lines and the handbrake cables and a few other assorted bits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my Patreon down here. Um, give the video a like, put any comments down below, I'll do my best to get back to you, and we will see you soon.